Do you need more structure in your business? Well, I've got you covered today because we are gonna cover the top questions you need to ask yourself in order to structure your business the right way. So stay tuned. Hey, Stacey Tushel here from She's Building Her Empire.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some top questions I want you to ask yourself so you can structure your business the right way. Now, one of the many reasons I became an entrepreneur is because I wanted to have the freedom and flexibility, and I knew I was gonna be a mom someday, so I wanted to make sure I had that time to spend with the kids. So as I'm creating this, because I know what I wanna do, that can come with some confusion, right? We don't really know where we wanna go or what we wanna do. So I came up with these questions to help you do just that. So let's dive into the first one. Who is my ideal client? So people usually come to me and they don't know who their ideal client is, but a lot of times their ideal client is the person they used to be. You probably have gone through a struggle and created a solution, right? You helped figure out what that problem was and you figure out a way to solve it. You're now helping people going through that same exact thing. So look at what you were doing just a few years ago or a few months ago, whenever you were going through that problem and then figure out what you did to help solve it because that's what we're going to share with our ideal client. Number two, what am I going to offer? Now that can be a really tricky question and I wanna help simplify that. Ask yourself, how can I best serve my ideal client? So you've gone through this problem, you've figured out what you're going to do, you've, you've solved it. How can you best serve your client and what can you do to help them? So think about that and understand that the curse of knowledge is real and you probably don't remember everything that you, you know things now that you didn't know then and you've gotta figure out what did you do so you're gonna to have to take a couple steps back to help simplify them. I know a lot of people don't care if they have people finish their courses, right? They just wanna sell more and more courses. But I'm telling you, you want people to go through your courses and get results. You want them to finish it and become a raving fan, have really great testimonials because they become case studies for other people that will be scrolling through your sales pages and think, wow, I'm really resonating with this person. This might be the person that can help me. So I want you to think, how can I best serve my client and how can I actually help her get to the end result she wants to get to? Number three, what should I charge? Now this is something that I see a lot of my clients struggle with, including myself, because we typically undervalue ourselves. So it's not about how much something costs, right? Or what dollar amount should it be, but what's the value, right? So you might sell something that costs you $4, that doesn't mean you sell it for $4. You might be able to sell it for $100, depending on what the value is and what kind of problem you're solving. Typically, the larger problem that you're solving, the higher price point you can charge. So please make sure when you're thinking about this that when you spend money on your education and when you continue to get more experience, your price and your value should be going up. Number four, make sure your business fits with your ideal lifestyle. And I say your ideal lifestyle because sometimes we can see what everybody else is doing and then think I need to be doing this or I need to be doing that. And I want you to be thinking about what does your ideal day look like? Your ideal schedule look like? How much time do you wanna be spending on work? You don't have to work eight hours a day. You get to decide. You get to decide if you work on weekends or what you're gonna be doing or maybe in the middle of your day you take a break. So what do you want it to look like? And what is your five-year vision? Vision, right? Sometimes we, we look down at our 90 day goals and I'm a big 90 day goal person. We look down and we look up and we're going, where are we, right? But I want you to be thinking about what's the long-term vision of your business and then how do we make sure we structure it to fit that? Number five, am I doing something that somebody else could be doing? I heard the most amazing quote that I will never forget and it says, if you don't have an assistant, you are the assistant. And that really struck a chord with me because I realized I was doing so much stuff in my business that I should not be doing. There are so many little tedious things that somebody else could be doing so you stay in your zone of genius. So make sure you really take a look and figure out what your strengths are and then start to delegate the rest. If you think you might not be able to afford somebody, trust me, I get it. We are always thinking things like that when we have to go to the next level. But I'm thinking you're thinking that because you've never hired somebody before. When you bring somebody onto your team and they can take some things off of your plate, you will be able to focus on your top priorities, whether that's sales or marketing, and that's what's gonna help grow your business. So don't be afraid to delegate, don't be afraid to grow because that's what's going to help you take your business to the next level. So those are the top questions I want you to ask yourself. And I want you to remember that pricing your product is huge. You can price it too high or too low and it can be detrimental to your business. I want you to download this free guide that I have on how to price your first product the right way. So go get it now so you can properly price your next product and I'll see you in the next video.
Do you need more structure in? Sorry. Yeah, I could tell right. the camera wasn't following me <laughs> the right way. I already forgot what step one was. <laughs> now, here's the thing. You probably, oh no, hang on, why is this? Okay, okay. Am I like rambling? No. Um, okay, the right way. I'll see you in the next video. That was stupid. <laughs>